Good morning, Roadrunners. It is so wonderful to have you back at school for a wonderful week of learning and making great happen here at Reese Road Leadership Academy. I have some important announcements and celebrations this week for you. I want to congratulate the following students on their great accomplishments and for well representing Reese Road in the community. I would like to begin by congratulating Xander Lafayette. He will be featured in the All About Words reception at the Public Library on November 6th. So students, let's give him a big round of applause and congratulations. Next, I would like to congratulate Miss Lucy Hart. Lucy earned honorable mention at the steeplechase in the previous competition. So please, classmates, let's congratulate Lucy Hart for what she's doing in the community for us. Next, we would like to congratulate Ava Elaine. She is a finalist in the Cool Water Ripple Literacy Competition. She's actually been meeting with an author and illustrator. She met for three weekends and they will end with a published product. And again, representing Reefs Road Leadership Academy. Last but not least, we want to congratulate Ryan Tataparthi. Ryan is our Achieve 3000 Summer winner. Ryan completed over 40 activities at 75% or higher. Ryan is the winner of this fabulous iPad Mini. Let's congratulate Ryan. Ryan, please come and see Ms. Hample to claim your iPad as well as to receive your medal for having over 40 activities at 75% or higher well representing Reese Road in the national competition and I believe worldwide. Please congratulate Ryan. Students, you too can win this great honor if you pay attention. Please utilize your Achieve 3000 the way it is intended to be. Make sure that you are taking your tests and your literacy and reading seriously. Do not just go through the Achieve and click. Be sure that you're reading and you're scoring at least 75% or higher on the first try with your Achieve 3000 lessons. Again, congratulations to all of our road runners. We have something special for each and every one of you in the front office. If you would come up and see Ms. Hample and thank you for making great happen at Reese Road. Have a wonderful day. Good morning. I'm Jayanna. And I'm Michael. And this is The Morning Show. Today is Monday, October 29th, 2018. Our lunch choices for today are Mandarin, Orange, Asian Chicken, or Hamburger. Make your selections with your teacher ASAP. This Wednesday, October 31st at 1.45 p.m., Reese Road will be holding a its annual school-wide character book parade. Students will have the opportunity to come to school dressed up as their favorite book character to, to join the school-wide parade. You must bring your book to participate. Start thinking about which book character you will want to dress up as. And also invite parents to come and watch. In today's moment in history, did you know that on October 29, 1929, the U.S. stock market crashed? This was the beginning of the Great Depression. This week's Cubby Habit is synergized. An example is being on a cheerleading baseball or football team. I have a joke for you, Jana. What is it? Which, which type of pants do go to? Ghost wear. I don't know. Boo jeans. I get it. Anyway, here is Dr. BJ for today's Mindful Minute. Thank you, Michael. Last week we've been talking about saying no to drugs. But do we even know how to say no to drugs, Michael? Mm-mm. Okay. Always. So let's think of some ways, and I'm going to give you some ways that we can say no to drugs. What is the first thing you can say if someone asks you, um, do you want to try some alcohol? What is the first thing you can say? Simply just say no. That's right. Or no or, thanks. That's right. Okay, so you can do that. You can just say no. No thanks. What else can you do? Give an excuse like, no thanks, I have to go to class. That's right. But what if someone gives you a candy and you know that there may be something else in that candy. 
What can you do? Change the stuff that subject then start talking about something else yes you can talk about something else just change the topic you can even walk away have you ever thought of that um, let's talk about what else we can do so students we need to know that we can always say no we can walk away from someone we don't even need to talk to someone or even hang around people that we know are not doing the right thing do you know that when I was in high school, there was a boy that always traveled with a thermos. And a thermos is something that you put a hot drink in. So we thought that he was drinking hot chocolate, but he had something else in there, and it was alcohol. And we later found out when he got in trouble with the principal, that alcohol was in there. And he was drinking it, and he almost got expelled from school. So can we do drugs at school, at home, or anywhere as kids? No. No. We cannot do drugs. Even if you see it in your house, do not pick it up to try and drink beer or any type of alcohol. Wow. What if I saw a needle on the playground? What should I do? Should I pick it up and give it to the teacher? Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, that's not the right answer. Guess why? With the needle. Because what can happen to you? It can hurt you. It can hurt you. So what you should do is... Just go tell the teacher. High five on that. Do you see how easy that was? So if you find anything that looks like drugs, do not pick it up. Do not touch it. If you see it on the playground, you tell the teacher. So this has been a Mindful Minute from Dr. DJ. I want you to have a fantastic drug-free day here at Reese Road. Thank you so much, Michael, for You're participating. Welcome. Elbow bump on that. Cool. Thank you. You guys all have a great day. Thank you, Dr. BJ. We have already said the play, so that's it for today. Have a great day, Reese Road Leaders, and remember to earn those Roadrunner books today.